Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so I'm going to make this video to talk about the GitHub Wiki feature. Uh, so this is going to be a pretty short video. Um, this feature is pretty intuitive and self-explanatory. So the way that we would use the GitHub Wiki is to upload various types of do documentation or uh, program designs or anything that we would really share uh, during our weekly Zoom meetings. So looking at this GitHub repo that I used in my software engineering course, I'm just gonna kind of briefly explain uh, the various types of documentation that we uploaded, uh, how we use them and how exactly we uploaded what we did to GitHub. Uh, so the first thing that I'm gonna talk about would be the various pieces of documentation that we uploaded for uh, different features of our program. Uh, so, for this specific program, we uploaded a wireframe that detailed the front end design, like what you would see um, when, when you interacted with our, with our program um, from the front end. Uh, this is what you would see for our web application. And we also uploaded um, our UML design, our, our class diagram as well. And we gave a brief explanation of um, our design's features. So the, how this pertains to us is that um, for our weekly meetings, we could upload uh, pictures of our designs or what we accomplished with a brief description. And we could kind of use that as like a starting point to discuss um, whatever we needed to for the week is really how, how this pertains to NASA suits. Um, so in order to upload these documents, what we did is we used something like UML Latino or draw.io, created our design and saved it as an image file. And from there, what we did is we had a dedicated folder called images in our GitHub repo, and we pushed that image to GitHub. And from there, what you would do, um, I'm going to go to my personal repo to explain this. So in my personal repo, I have a couple of different designs and I can edit them. So from there, what you would do is you would have a link to the image in your GitHub repo, and you would click on this little image button right here and you would upload the image <clears throat> and you would save it very this is very similar to how you um how you would use html coding if you've ever done that so you would just add a link to the image in your github repo and you would save it and then it would be displayed in your github wiki page okay so i'll i'll quickly try to do this in my personal repo so i'll create a new page i'll call this page example and I'll create a small header right here. And then I'm gonna add an image. So I have my dedicated images folder. I'm gonna go here. And here's the UML diagram. And I'm gonna copy that link and I'm just gonna add it right here. Click okay. You can see the link is displayed. And now I'm gonna scroll down to save page. And there you go, there's my UML diagram. And so that's how you would add pictures. And something to take notice of, uh, going back to GitHub's branching feature. Um, so remember that in GitHub, you can have various branches you can work on and they're all and each branch is independent of one another. So if I'm working in say the relay branch and I add a picture in the images folder under the relay branch, if I wanna add that picture in the GitHub Wiki, I have to make sure that I go to the correct branch where the picture resides. So if I add a picture in the images folder under the relay branch, it's not gonna be in the main branch unless I create a pull request, which is something that we haven't gone over yet. So you need to, you need to take that in consideration whenever you add pictures um, inside of the GitHub Wiki. You need to make sure that you know where the actual picture uh, resides within the GitHub repo itself. And that's really it. Again, um, if we were to use this feature, I think it would pretty much just, just be for um, uploaded pictures and documentation or whatever we need to discuss uh, during our weekly meetings. That's how I think that we would use it. Um, someone else may come up with a better idea. Um, either way, I just want to make sure that everyone's aware of this GitHub feature. Okay, thanks guys. I appreciate it.